Today I want to show you a video on how to understand and create layer combinations uh, to create different drawings using the same story. So here we've got a, a first floor plan and of course this looks like a floor plan but of course we can use this and should be using this also to create a reflected ceiling plan and a, a lighting plan or electrical plan as well. So how do we do this. Generally in ARCHICAD we don't want to create a different drawing in, in terms of we don't want to select this information, copy this information and redraw it. That's bad management. We want to have all the information in one place and then just be able to view it in different ways. The way we do this is called layers. Option, element, attributes, layer settings and layer combinations. And the way that I would describe this is you'll see that layer combinations are basically the same thing as saved views or layouts. So they're drawings. So a layer combination describes the combination of layers that are turned on or turned off at any one time. And that's what keeps the drawing looking nice because it's only showing what I want to show at any one time. So this drawing is called a first floor plan. When I go into the view settings, we see that it's using a layer combination called floor plan documentation. If I go into that setting, option, element, attributes, layer settings, or control L to get there a bit faster, we can see that there's layers such as ceiling that are turned off. There are layers such as fixtures that are turned off. Furniture in this case actually is turned off, but commonly for documentation, furniture would be turned off and fixtures left on. So that's a bit more documentation, otherwise we could call it presentation. But for a reflected ceiling plan, control L, we need a very, very different set of layers to be turned on. So if we go reflected ceiling plan, we see that these automatically turn on and off as I've predetermined them. So these are all automated or, or customized, uh, different to Archicad's original. And we see that dimensions turn on off in this case there is no dimensions but I could just as easily dimension this plan as well there are annotations describing in this case the the structural timbers and there's different hatches showing the different ceiling finishes and the different ceiling materials that are being used in this building and there's other elements as well so outside we see beams and outriggers that are being shown which um, which weren't visible on the floor plan as they weren't necessary and then in the same way, we can change that setting again. So we could get to this just by double clicking. We could go also create an electrical plan, which would look different again from a floor plan and a reflected ceiling plan. So I only need to show in the electrical plan what is important. In this particular building, some of the walls are consistent. These walls here around the bathroom, they run the whole way up to the ceiling. But in this room or these rooms here, we, we only have some nib walls and then a lot of these walls are open. Uh, they're removable walls, movable walls, sliding walls, whatever you want to call them. And so the only thing that's sort of running consistently through is a beam. So this is using the beam to help differentiate space. But here we see there's some objects that are being used and this isn't necessarily uh, the correct object to do it, but it's an object Nonetheless, it's being used to describe a lighting object or a light fitting. And in this case, we see that they're used individually and then they're used as three. Now, what I'm trying to do here is show switching. And so you see that I've used a spline tool as a switching. And when I show switching, I deliberately don't show it straight, but show it in an arc or a curve. I also, again, deviate from Australian standards and not just in black and white but showing it in red for a few reasons makes it very clear to see I always make sure that it can still print out black but um, for most e electricians that I deal with they're not often working off paper plans anyway they're usually working off an iPad or something like that a tablet so therefore they can interact with this better and the color is easier for them rather than making it a problem in this particular drawing, I've made the lighting plan and the electrical plan both on the same drawing. In a more complicated design, I would have the lighting and the electrical, or such as power, on a separate layout. 
in this case, you see that I'm not using a, a proper object for my PowerPoint. That's just lines, so I need to model that better. But I'm definitely using a object for my switching, and we can choose between different types of switching. If we go in here, we see that there's a few different options uh, that we might be able to find or use within the Archicad electrical library. So we could use these, I just don't like them very much. And of course we can make our own uh, symbols as objects and I've done that in other videos. So we've got three different drawings. We've got an electrical plan, a reflected ceiling plan and a, a floor plan, ground floor plan or first floor plan that are all taken from the same information and it's just by turning on and off the layer combination. Control L electrical. We can turn on or off and update information as we need so it shows what we want to see. 